The free kick from the top of the box just moments before the final whistle was as close as Capital City FC would come to scoring on Sunday against Mississauga. Besides the one run that provided the golden chance to break the 0-0 draw, the Ottawa strikers spent most of their day frustrated by offsides and simply showing an inability to create prime scoring chances. We did really good, moved the ball uh, really good, but unfortunately we couldn't, couldn't finish, you know, like uh, we didn't, to be honest, we didn't have any shots on the goal. I think it was the, you know, the main point that we didn't score today. We just, we never probably developed the rhythm today, you know what I mean? So it was hard, we, you know, we made, we made hard work of it for ourselves, to be fair, and, you know, I mean, the guys work extremely hard, it just, you know, sometimes in a long season, things don't go your way, and, and like I said, we just we never really found the rhythm today, and it just, you know, that's just the way it went. Luckily for Sean Harris's troops, there haven't been too many games like this past Sundays. It's been a remarkable season for the club by any standards, with a record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 7 ties. But it's especially impressive given that it's the franchise's first year in the Canadian Soccer League. I mean, our first expectation was to get in the postseason. We had done that a little bit earlier on. Um, the second expectation was to try and get ourselves into a home field advantage. You know, we've done that by finishing in the top four. So, you know, I mean, like I said, everything kind of that we've asked for, we've put ourselves there. Would we like to be a spot or two higher up the table? Of course we would. But, you know, like I said, I, I think we've had some trials and tribulations this year. Some things haven't gone our way. Some calls haven't gone our way. There's been a couple games where we haven't found a rhythm, and, and you know, that's cost us points. And, and it, you know, it goes that way sometimes. And, you know, but I said, for, for a first year team, you know, for, for players who've not a single player has been a professional, everybody's on their first professional contract, you know, I, I think it's been, I mean, terrific. The guys have worked very hard and, and they definitely deserve to be where they're at. The Ottawa Soccer Boys can't move up or down in the CSL standings with just one more match left next Saturday when they host the Bradford Galaxy at Terry Fox Athletic Facility. Capital City will certainly take some pride from its third placed result in the 14 team league. But the team's leading scorer is hungry for more than that come playoff time. Yeah, for sure, I'm really excited, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get, uh, you know, we're gonna win this league.